Living in 2023, the constant buzzword you will always hear is privilege. That's right. Privilege is used as a reason for the lack of success for some group and pointed to as the reason for success for another group. And usually the privilege is along the lines of racial lines, ethnic lines, uh, socioeconomic lines. We are told constantly that that is the reason why one group is succeeding and another group is failing, simply for that reason. And the group that is successful has that privilege and the one that doesn't, doesn't have it. Now, do I agree with this? Well, in part I do. There is a privilege that all groups, no matter what ethnic lines they come from, no matter whether they're male or female, it doesn't matter if they have this one privilege, their chances of success are far better. What is it? Well, it's being raised in an intact nuclear family, two-parent household with the original 1.0 parents. That study after study has proven, whether secular or religious, the outcomes for children raised in those homes are the greatest. Those children have a far better chance going on to post-education, uh, post such as university colleges, even graduating. Those children lead more happier lives. They have less anxiety. The chances of incarceration for those kids is far lower. Suicide rates are far lower for those kids. Overall, those kids do better. Now, why don't we hear this message? Well, simple because the culture we live in today promotes the destruction of family. And we have to ignore the reality around it, which we are seeing. These folks can see that the kids are more depressed, more suicidal, less uh, positive outcomes of success in overall every single area for a lot of young people today. So the reason they have to point that towards is privilege. We can't face the fact that their policies, their asinine, things and promotions of the ludicrous stuff we're living through, through the trans, through, you know, uh, single parents are totally awesome. Like basically the celebration of the destruction of the family and men in general, we cannot admit that that's the cause and the underlying root of all the problems. So we have to point to something else and that must be privilege. Because if they were to face this truth, then people would realize, wait a minute, this is insanity. These policies are leading to the destruction of children, not anything else. There is no other uh, privilege that is destroying the outcomes for kids. That, folks, is why we are on a hell-bent push. Now, don't hear me wrong. I'm not saying that parents who are single parents don't love their kids. Absolutely, they love their kids. I get it. But, again, two-parent, intact households, 1.0 parents, do better statistically. And that's not to say that step parents don't love their kids, absolutely. But once again, studies have proven the outcomes for the other kids are better. Now, of course, there's gonna be one-offs, I get that, but we're talking overall, folks. We know that the well-being of a child is fundamentally ingrained at a very young age and divorce definitely has an impact no matter what one might say or think. But again, in a culture that promotes that, a culture that is uh, committed to destroying family, those things are not talked about. Some other boogeyman has to be pointed to, and that, folks, like we said, is the fact of privilege. Another note I'll mention really quickly is that when it comes to privilege, this, uh, uh, you know, and be being raised in a two-parent household, it, it basically bypasses uh, all kinds of uh, ethnic divides. For example, they've done studies where it's been statistically shown that kids raised in a two-parent household intact, like I said, 1.0, in a black household, those kids have better outcomes than being raised in a household where a single mom, a white mom, is raising their child. This does not have anything to do with race, ethnicity, or color, folks. This is two-parent intact. Another um, thing I watched not too long ago was that in America, one of the most successful, actually the most successful immigrant group predominantly are Indians just like me, that's right. Indian parents, Indian households have, their children's have the best outcomes. Why? Well, if you look at it, statistically, the divorce rate in Indian households in the US is, a, is under 3%. That is virtually no divorce at all. So those kids are being raised in a two-parent loving household and they're being you know, raised in that manner. And that makes the greatest difference in the world. Am I saying once again that single parents don't love their kids? No, absolutely not. Don't hear what I'm not saying. 
I am saying that this is the reason for the success has nothing to do with this privilege bullshit that you hear about all the time. So you want to give your kids the greatest privilege. If you're not, if you're not a parent yet, you're thinking of getting married, stay with the person you marry. That's right. Your kids will have the greatest chance of success, joy, and happiness. Anyway, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have any comments, by all means, chime in. You can also follow me in my Rumble on my Locals account. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Camera612. See you next time.